we are going to discuss on hand designing tool right so what we will do I'm going to show you something um, so this is hand designing tool this is framework okay so using this of framework we can design our UI most beautiful most interactive so you can see here this is a framework of react react.js so this is highly used in china so we are going to discuss on this so how you can use it and how you can design your ui user interface okay like uh, you want to make your button suppose that so just type your button you can see here a lot of different kind of button you will see the different different uh, types of different different styles of button you will see suppose that i want to use uh, this download button right this download so you can click here and uh, what you have to do firstly i'm going to show you something suppose okay so i'm going to use terminal okay and you can see here this terminal clear everything at a moment clear everything okay, okay then so in this you can see here you can check where i am going to the main directory and going to download downloads and this uh, okay i'm going to create um that i'm going to make directory name is suppose that uh, um and new sigma right and inside i'm going to inside this directory and new sigma right hmm? okay so in this i'm going to create using this command you can see here create react app and i'm going to specify i'm going to give my application name suppose that my application name is application right application just application so this command will download automatically all the required uh, files all the required libraries and this will also give us the project structure okay this will take some time so for a while moment i'm going to show you something this is you can see here this is used in react react app right so you can see here this is okay this is yarn you can see this is the yarn okay so you can use npm also this is uh, you can use yarn also both are same okay at the place of yarn you can use npm node package manager right okay so this is thing you see you can see when you are using the first time then you should set up your create react app also because i already use it so i not used but if you are new to the and designing tool so you can use it and to the react app also okay so just type this command you can see here just type this command and simply uh, set up your create react, react app okay and the next time you can you, you should not worry to uh, uh, next time you sh should not worry write this line just simply write create react app and then project name okay and then you can you should enter your project is project folder and then just type the yarn start okay so as you can see you can see here the all required libraries are downloaded okay so i'm going in my atom okay just it right atom uh, whatever you you are using uh, term uh, like uh, id just type your id name and then space and then write uh, dot and then hit enter you will automatically get enter in your id okay so 
you can see under this application the all required libraries automatic downloaded so under the public you can see the some icon the some index.html some manifest.json okay some src you will see here this is the app.css app.js okay so this is the default code right just uh, put the finger on shift and hold and just same on command button and then press t shift command t okay you will get default terminal okay which is inside that id okay so i'm going to do what i'm writing npm start as i said you at the place of yarn if you want you can use the npm also if you are using npm so it means they are going good okay you can use also yarn also so just write npm start or yarn start whatever you want whatever you want like and just hit enter okay some of the error is coming okay 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 no error no no issue the main issue is going clear this one the main issue is you in ant mu sigma you not in application folder you can check here you are outside the application you should go inside the application right so what you have to do cd application right now you are in inside the application now you just write npm start okay that's cool going good now you can check here yeah why you can see here at the 3001 port number your output will be there it is taking a few seconds yeah this one you can see here this is the default code and you can see this is the logo of react react yes. okay so so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this whole part okay so i'm going to explain something i don't need logo i don't need app js okay i don't need app js css and all i need react component this is the component i'm hiring the component i'm extending the component you can see here and this is the class name and this is the render under the render you can return anything so uh, you must put all the written code which is inside the div tag right so if you are writing here like h1 hey this is new sigma class right h1 simply save this one and you can see here hey this is new sigma okay but now i'm going to give you an example related to the you know and designing right so i if i want to use some button like uh, button so just uh, search button okay so suppose that i want to use this primary button okay so what you have to do just uh, simply like uh, write like this import import and copy and just write here like this okay okay and uh, simply put like this something button and like this you can see here button type primary primary button okay but the main issue not resolve entity okay just first write what the error is going on control c and uh, what you have to do npm okay add and d okay simply this will automatic download all and d required required entity okay to your project use also npm i and d or npm install id we're getting some issues simply i'm going to write like this clear and npm i and d you can do also like this Maybe some network issues are there. That is the reason. You can see all the required libraries are download. Okay. So what you can do, just uh, 
simply write npm start okay and you can see we are going good yeah yes yeah like this you can see this is the primary button you can see this is uh, working okay but the actual button that i that we seen in this uh, you can see in this screen this is something different primary button right so what do you have to do you can check you can check here so demonstration i'm going to show you uh, you can see in the code and box um you will see some of the file are not uh, are not imported imported okay so i need to do so like this you can you should have to use to pack this zero zero okay import sorry for this ha main the rest of the stuff so c and then control v we should have to use these packages right now and then start and then yes then you will see the proper primary button yeah like this you can see this is the primary button this is working okay so you can see here the primary button is working okay so this is very useful framework and then i will explain a lot of component okay using the react js and the node js and using the express js uh, framework and the mongo db using the mongos library okay so at the end of the video at the end of the this series i will explain the whole project thanks so much guys